Part 2. Verdant Wind. Great Tree Moon. Blood of the Eagle and Lion. Now in control of the Great Bridge of Murden, the Alliance Army invades the Imperial territories. In response, the Imperial Army garrisons soldiers at Fort Mercius. All of that went about as well as it could have. Each Lord has agreed to provide us with soldiers and supplies. I'm impressed you were able to convince all of those scattered nobles to help us. I thought they would quarrel about how much support they should each provide. That's what they usually do. Well, Count Gloucester took the initiative in taking on responsibilities. I presume that was because you spoke with him in advance, Lawrence. I merely explained the situation at hand. Then my father simply followed your lead, Claude. It was because you had the professor there to represent Lady Rhea. My father is a pious follower of the Church of Saros. <laughs> I don't doubt it. I wasn't under the delusion that it was my personal charm that unified everyone. Thanks for that, by the way. I hope you don't feel like I used you, because I sort of used you. I appreciate that. We don't have time to be picky about our methods. But be honest, you're having a hard time adjusting to your new role, aren't you? You weren't even a follower of Saros to begin with, and somehow you've ended up as a representative of the church. I realize that you might feel guilty about deceiving the believers for our cause, but this is just what the Archbishop wanted, and she's the highest authority in the church. Besides, as wielder of the sword of the Creator, it's undeniable that you're special. I think you should be more confident in yourself and use your position to the fullest. I have news. Our enemy is gathering troops at Fort Mercius. Their army is immense, likely led by a renowned general, or perhaps even... Well now, that would be interesting. If we can defeat the Emperor, then the Empire will collapse. There's something else. An unidentified army has approached the Great Bridge of Murden. They passed through the Daphnil and Gloucester territories from the northwest with incredible speed. They're raising the banner of House Blathed. Perhaps they are the remnants of the Fargus royal family. From what we could tell, they posed no threat to the citizens of the Alliance, and so we refrained from engaging them in needless combat. Maybe they hope to fight against the Empire to avenge their fallen prince. And what about the bridge itself? Obviously, we wouldn't let them pass without receiving envoys first. We thought they may try to force their way through. We considered firing warning arrows, but they left immediately, heading east. Are they intending to use one of the bridges in Ordelia territory? Most likely. But the Imperial Army still controls those bridges. I can't imagine what they intend to do in the Empire, even if they do manage to break through. I'm reluctant to ease up on our surveillance, but it would be difficult to track them there. For now, let's assume they're just troops belonging to the Old Kingdom. In any case, we should proceed with caution. Soon we'll be entering Empire territory ourselves. If our enemies are going to intercept us with an attack, it will probably be at Grander Field. How fitting that it was the site of the Battle of the Eagle and Lion five years ago. I've still got some hidden potential. Grander Field should be around here, right? But it's so foggy. Even if there were enemies here, we'd never know it. I recall the terrain from the Battle of the Eagle and Lion, but without the ability to see the enemy's formation... Our enemies are subject to the same conditions. We'll just have to wait for the fog to clear up. Speaking of enemies, what do you think became of those unidentified troops? Any follow-up reports? We haven't heard anything since. If they were headed this way... Well, I'd like to avoid being caught by surprise, but we can't make use of our scouts because of this fog. And it's hard to predict this fight. There's no way to know what will happen. We did everything we could to prepare. If we lose despite that, then we'll just have to accept it as fate and retreat. Your guidance is going to be crucial, Teach, now more than ever. 
do whatever it takes to lead us to victory. Departing from the Great Bridge of Murden, the Alliance Army marches south toward Enbar, the Imperial capital. As an unknown military force begins their advance under the banner of the Kingdom, the Imperial Army dispatches forces from Fort Mercius with the intention of intercepting them. The curtain is rising on a conflict between the three armies, which will come to be known as the Battle at Grandar held on the same plains that witnessed the Battle of the Eagle and Lion. Now you will see my true value.
Know that I will tear your heads from your shoulders. The dead must have their tribute. As big class reunions go, this one's got to be the worst in history. Years ago, we fought here as classmates. But not today. Kill every last one of them! So we fight on. I will crush anyone who blocks my path. Dimitri, he's alive. But he doesn't look interested in joining forces with us. It would not be advantageous to take on both at once. We must stop the Kingdom and the Alliance from joining forces. I will create such chaotic warfare that they won't be able to tell who is friend and who is foe. Let's make this quick. Let's go. I'd be honored. What's my strategy? Steady now. units, advance! Stay back! Stay back or I'll shoot! Bye. 
got yourself killed. Make a difference? found strength in adversity. No time for mercy. I will keep making progress. There are enemies in the central area. We need to head there immediately to protect it. Bernadetta, thank you. I'll make sure your life was not lost in vain. starting to crumble. We will step on the Empire right along with the Alliance troops. To the eternal flames with all of them!
let this hold me back. Never let your guard down. Her enemies are my enemies. Thank you. Plan. Looks like I'll just have to get rid of you. It all comes down to this. Must leave them well. for Lady Rhea. Those fools who went up the hill will pay with their lives in the Crimson Flames. Thank you. 
rising on will endanger my life. Your Majesty, I must withdraw. No need to worry. We still have some troops left. So long as I stand, we won't give up. Forgive me. Huh. I guess this is fate. Sorry, but I need you to please give up quietly, okay? <laughs> I'm not afraid. I figured it would end like this. Form. This proves useful. Games will really pack a punch.
just a scratch. <laughs> Won't lose next time either. This still isn't good enough. Choose our paths, and I've chosen mine. I fight for my lord to the death. Your Highness, I failed you. Fitting out. So wait forward. I've got no time for mercy. Pushing myself. Want to die? Step forward. I'll take you all.
strategy. In the name of His Highness, you die here. I can still fight, Your Highness. Shut up and retreat. You must live to do. Trying to stop me too? I'll just have to kill you! Here is something to believe in! Where are you, Aid God? I will not stop until I kill you! Oh, I haven't seen you in so long. 
it's such a shame we have to meet like this. Nice try. I'm sorry, Dimitri. I can't seem to stay on my feet. It won't be in vain. Let's go. Let us out. Let's try something special. I'll help too. Stops. Fun to 
watch. You got yourself killed. My duty. Come through.
appreciate that. I will destroy both the kingdom and the alliance. Now, with one fell swoop. we met, one of our paths would have to come to an end. Your journey ends here, Professor. Forever. I it's time! seen each other since Garrick Mach. You've grown lovelier than ever, Edelgard. You're not so unfortunate yourself. And you have the aid of the Professor. Frankly, I'm jealous. Now's the chance for you and the Professor to leave. <laughs> I'm afraid I must decline. Even if we left, we just have to come right back. All right. Good time for a secret scheme. Expected, you aren't making my path an easy one. I must retreat for now. We'll meet again on the battlefield. Even in an ugly battle like this, it's important not to lose heart. We have to take pride in our victory. We did it, Teach. Now we can move forward to our victory. So, Edelgard retreated. I suppose she lives to be defeated another day. Too close. But I suppose all that matters is that we won. Some of our allies are injured, but can still fight. We'll just have to accept this outcome and press onward. Still, the battlefield looks awful. And I wonder what became of the Kingdom Army, and Dimitri. I saw him. Who? Dimitri? He was completely different from how I remember him. He looked like a crazed demon while he was fighting. He pursued Edelgard as she retreated, but he didn't get far before he collapsed. I saw him surrounded by Imperial troops and pierced by their spears. I'll never forget it. He deserved a better end. <sighs> Dimitri. He went through so much to make it here, only for his efforts to be in vain. I can't even begin to understand what Dimitri must have been feeling, but there must have been some other way. Why did he have to go like that? And his vassal, Dedu, did he fall as well? <laughs> I don't know. Your Highness. Your ambitions are my own now. I... I will bring you Edelgard's head. I swear it! 
Professor? Claude, may I have a moment of your time? Lysithia, what are you doing up this late? Trouble sleeping? Anyone would be shaken after such a brutal battle. If you're having trouble sleeping, you should drink some warm milk. That's a thing, right? Must you treat me like a child, simply because I'm awake a bit later than usual? <sighs> Actually, I can hardly muster any indignation right now. I wanted to tell you that I noticed something odd during that battle. What was it? There were some strange mages among the ranks of the Imperial Army. Did you notice them? That's right. I have seen people dressed just like that before. It was a long time ago. House Ardelia was involved in a rebellion that took place within the Empire 13 years ago. After it was quelled, all of the key officials were caught and put to death. The Empire sent replacements, who they used to take control of House Ardelia. Among the people sent by the Empire were mages dressed in black, just like those we saw in battle. If they're Imperial mages, it makes sense that they would wear the same clothing, right? Yes, but the mages from back then and today, I do not believe they are from the Adrestian Empire. the impression that they were from somewhere else, somewhere completely separate from Fodlin. There's more. Those mages imprisoned the children from my house and performed horrible rituals on them. Blood experiments. Lysithia, you can't mean... even you? Yes. All of the others were deemed failures. They all died. And even I... It doesn't matter. The point is that those monsters possess dreadful knowledge and power. I just thought you should know the sort of people who have allied with the Empire. Blood experiments. Does that remind you of anything, Teach? Exactly. There was that secret group who abducted Flane and extracted her blood five years ago. The people involved back then were Tomas and Monica. Well, I suppose their true names were Solon and Kranya. So, that eerie group has been slithering behind the scenes in the Empire for a while now. Lysithia, thank you for sharing all of that with us. One day we will uncover the truth of who those people really are. We've managed to invade Empire territory and emerge victorious in our first battle. I hope to maintain our momentum and push onward to Enbar, the Imperial Capital. Unfortunately, we are not legendary heroes in a fairy tale. Our stamina has limits. The longer we fight, the harder the fight will become. It will take immense effort to secure the supplies and soldiers we need to prevail. Boy, you better not be saying this is as far as we go. Of course not. However, the road ahead leads deep into enemy territory. It'll be a difficult journey, strewn with hardship. I can't guarantee that we'll make it out alive. If anyone wants to leave, now is the time to do it. I shall accompany you to the very end. After all, someone must step up to take leadership should you fall. I'm coming. The future of my village depends on this. Besides, I have to protect the professor. For Captain Gerald. I'm not going anywhere. Because of the Empire, my little sis can't live in peace. We can't leave the future of Fodlin to others. I'm sure that everyone here feels the same. The Knights of Seros will keep fighting the Empire. We won't rest until we rescue Lady Rhea. I feel the same as the Knights. I've got to rescue Lady Rhea no matter what. So what? We're all supposed to take turns saying we'll do our best until the very end? And what about you, Marianne? What will you do? I... I'll fight, too. <sighs> Fine. Fine. I suppose I'll tag along, too, until the bitter end. <laughs> it's an honor to keep fighting alongside such stalwart allies. Right, Teach? Hey, 
now. When you put it that way, it almost sounds like you're just praising yourself. All right. Now that I know where each of you stands, I'm going to return to Alliance territory for a while. I intend to report this victory to the Alliance Lords and draw out even more support from them. Our next battle will be even more challenging, so brace yourselves for that. Hmm. I should write to my brother. He'll want to hear about our victory. Your brother, Lord Holst? How is he these days? Oh, he's doing great. I even got a letter from him before the last battle. He wanted to come and join our fight, too. What's this? Lord Holst come here? That would be a most reassuring development. Sadly, it sounds like my father was against the idea. They want him to stay in case they need to fight the Almirans. Their logic is sound, though it is vexing that the Alliance's greatest general cannot join us on the front lines. We should be glad that Holst is staying behind. Almira aside, there's also no guarantee that the Imperial forces won't try to launch a surprise attack from the Old Kingdom territory. Um, if you have something you need to talk to my brother about, I'd be happy to send a letter. No, that's okay. I'm just glad to hear he's doing well. Please send him my regards. <laughs>